My last damn video. Damn, digital asset management. I showed you how I took a photo shoot that I did in LA of headshots and put it into ACDC, stored it on another computer and can easily track it and cross-reference all sorts of ways through digital asset management. I also mentioned that I can do it cross-platform. It's one of the things that's super important to me. And whether that is to you, like whether you're storing on another computer at home, like a bigger computer or multiple hard drives, to be able to know that you're future-proof to different platforms, that's an amazing thing. And that's a quality that I wanted to show you. My MacBook Pro here is currently running ACDC Photo Studio 6. It doesn't have the editing power of Ultimate, but for Mac, it's still absolutely my go-to digital asset manager. And here's why. So remember I put those, those images onto a Linux server, like, uh, like almost 100 terabytes of photos and videos stored on there. And I wanna be able to keep track of it. So I go into alecwatson.com I put those headshots in a commercial folder. There it is. Now, I have just found these through Folder Tree, right? And we can see that they have number ratings on them. So it's reading the number ratings in real time. Now that's pretty awesome, but what is not happening currently is if I go ahead and I select my three star photos and I go down to my keywords, I can see that I don't have any of the keywords from these files. If I look on here and I look at the properties, I can see that it doesn't have any of my keywords in it. And I put a bunch of keywords. So although I can see my three star files, I'm missing a bunch of information. So what I wanna do, I remember I said, I'd taken that information and I embedded it into each of those files. Now. Uh, ACDC doesn't automatically read that embedded information. It'll show you the star ratings and those star ratings can be seen in all sorts of software, which is super handy, but you don't always want to pass along your keywords to everybody. But in cases for yourself or with clients where you do want those keywords, the process to get them back works simply just like this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of these files, Command A on a Mac, we're gonna go to Tools, and then we're gonna catalog the folders. We're gonna find this folder on my server, alecwatson.com, commercial, sexy hair campaign. And we're gonna catalog this folder. It's now going to run through all these files and it's going to look into that embedded data. It's going to read that embedded data and then it's gonna store it in its own database over here. So that this database is now synced with my PC database for this folder. So I can run exactly the same searches and I can cross-reference in the same way across multiple platforms. That, to me, is pretty darn incredible. So now it should work that if I click three star photos, there they all come up, and I could select men and LA. So as you can see, my database that started out on a PC, potentially like when I was on holiday in another country, stored those photos on there, I get back to my home computer, even though I am working on completely different operating systems, I can completely share all the database information. And so, although most people aren't gonna be cross-platform like this, one thing that absolutely is going to happen in your future is you're going to have a different operating system, whether that turns into Windows 11 or Windows 12 or some operating system we've never heard of. The idea that you can embed that data and the data's inside the photo ready for it to be read, that's what's going to future-proof you. And so, although maybe you only have 3,000 photos or 20,000 photos, at some point, you'll have 100 photos, 100,000 photos, a million photos. And so taking the time to do a little bit of data, uh, data asset management while you're importing the photos is going to make your future much brighter and much more searchable. And so whether you're working from home or whether you're working commercially, this is absolutely one of the most important things you can do with your photos. And I, I love ACDC for this very thing, even though I use all sorts of different types of software. If you got something out of this video, please click like. If you got questions, throw them down in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer your questions. In the meantime, get out there, take some photos, and make the world a better and more beautiful place.